Hi there, it's Martin here. Today I'm going to be demonstrating this cute little bag which I've made for a hostess. Um, however, I left this one empty just as demonstrational purposes. Today we're actually going to be making the gift. So to start with, I'm starting with a piece of first edition paper measuring 6 inches by 11. Um, I've already scored this just purely for the time's sake of the video and I've scored it at 2 inches, 5 inches, 7 inches and 10 inches and then I've turned it to lengthways and I've scored 2 inches down. Now I'm just going to fold on these lines like so and this one and then I'm just going to cut the needed areas. So basically you're just going to be cutting up to the 2 inch score line. Hope you can see. Then basically I'm just following the lines which I've scored on. And when you get to the 1 inch strip by 2 inch I'm just going to completely take that out because I find it just gets in the way. Like so. So there you have the outline, as you can see. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add sticky strip to this bit. I would recommend you use snail adhesive. Not snail, sorry, I mean sticky strip. And I'm going to add snail, sorry I got that mixed up. And just onto this bit as well. Fold that back out. So just to line that up like so. Place the bit you've just snailed in first, then the smaller bits, and then just snail this in place, and that should hold it all together like so. No? There you go. Now I'm just going to press the sides in together. If you did want it to be completely even, then just score at 1 inch and at 6 inches. Okay, so there you have the little bag. Now to decorate it. As you can see on the example, um, I've used a doily. So I'm just going to grab one. I love these doilies, I think they're so cute. And I'm just going to fold it in half before. And like so. And I'm just going to hold it over. Oh, almost forgot to put the gift in. Now I'm just going to give the hostess some brads. Like so. Oh, not sealing properly. And then put that on top, make sure it's even, and then I'm just going to use a staple just to hold that in place. I'm just using a staple just for the sake of ease really. Um, and yeah, so there's the little bag with the little gift. Next we're going to be working on the little medallion. Um, I have changed my mind because I thought that the decorative label punch would look better instead. So I'm going to try it. I'll just move a bit of crumb cake, sorry, and punch that out. And then I'm going to stamp um, the flourish stamp from oh, Everything Eleanor, I believe. And I'm just going to do this in Whisper White ink. Now the trick with Whisper White ink is it does take a while to dry. So just be prepared to wait. And I'm just going to stamp it off. And take it off. And there you go. So that's just going to be a little bit smaller than the original. But... I'm happy with it. And let's put that to one side. 
Next then, um, I'm going to get ready my very vanilla piece, which is measuring one inch by two. And then I've got the other flourish from Creative Elements, which I'm just going to stamp in crumb cake. And this time, I'm going to stamp it over the whole piece, just so I can get enough of the image. That's fine. Um, now, where have I put the initials? Oh, I knew I would lose something. Oh, there it is. Now, because my hostess is called Carol, Carol, if you're watching, hello, um, I'm just going to stamp her initial, C in stays on ink because I would like a nice dark crisp image and I'm just going to stamp that in the centre right there and as you can see that's got that now I'm going to just use my scissors and I'm just going to cut up in the centre and fishtail the end Like so. Um, now along here I've just used another bit of first edition paper just to embellish the background a little bit more. So I've just got a scrap piece and I'm just going to rip it just a little bit off each side. To, and like so. And rip across, oh I like this side better and rip across again now yeah you can't really see that so I'm going to cut it in half and what I'm going to do is I'm going to position a little bit either side like so and just use a dimensional to attach it onto the back So this is a great way just to use up your little scraps. Or if you're like me, just throw them away. <laughs> and just place that over the top, preferably in the centre, like so. And then I'm just going to attach this again with another dimensional. I attach everything by dimensional, it's very rare I use anything else. And just going to pop that straight onto the mag, like so. And then for this little bow, I used um, the fork technique. And basically you just wrap the ribbon around the fork, just the way, way you use a bow maker. However, I'm not very good at it, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it took me seven attempts just to do this one, so I've done it ahead of time, just sticking a glue dart, and then putting that in the centre there. And there you go, there's the two different bags. Um, now looking at them, I do prefer the framelit to the punch, but there we go, it doesn't really matter. You can also add possibly like our pearls, as you can see I like my pearls, I've used them a lot, and just possibly add one in the centre, like so, and there you go, and that's the bag for today, um, if, if you would like to leave your comments I'll be sure to answer them, um, or you could pop over to my blog which is martinsmayhem at blogspot.com, um, all the information on this product and my blog will be listed below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you.